Yo, what's happening guys? In today's video, I'll be converting this gas-powered quad to electric. Uh, it will be probably part one out of two if everything works out. As you can see from the intro here, I've already started tearing it apart. Um, we get to go in on the uh, electrical as well, uh, hooking that all up and uh, spacing out where the batteries are going to be. In uh, part two, I'll build the boxes for the batteries and assemble it all and hopefully take it for a test drive. All right, here we go. <laughs> This is what I have so far. I was able to tear it down, got the motor out, all the parts up here, or the majority of those parts will not go back on again since we're doing the electric conversion. But uh, some of the components for the steering were a little off. They have quite a few leaks in this area. So I'll have to get some new bushings. And other than that, we should be good. Still trying to figure out how I'm going to get that sprocket off so that I can um, replace it with the one that came with the kit when the screws are in there and not on the outside. So I'm sure it's a trick. I'll watch some YouTube videos. This is where I am with the project so far. I got an electric motor. I'm planning on putting that one right in here. So that'll be sitting there. I'll uh, weld on a plate here to mount the motor on. Then in here, I'm gonna place all six of these batteries that came in the little kit. And uh, so they'll be sitting in two different layers. I have never welded before, and uh, I'm definitely not a metal fabricator. So I've been thinking about how to make this box. I'm gonna go to Home Depot and see what I can figure out with some sheet metal, maybe build a brake. Um, yeah, we'll see. My other problem is the axle that I bought. It's this hub right here. And it does not fit here. It ha actually would have to sit the other way. It has these tabs that initially I was thinking oh, I'll just grind them off. And now I'm thinking maybe I'll keep them and shove uh, them through here. Maybe cut a hole here, cut a hole on the other side, slide them through, and then put a bolt through the whole thing to hold it in place. Um, the old hub, see if I can find that one, it is wider than the current hub. Here it is. So you can see it's, um, it's thicker. So I would have to shrink this mounting point down to be able to use this to actually tighten down on it so maybe i could cut it take a section out and then weld it back together again but since i don't know how to weld i'm guessing that the bolt through here would be a good option on top of my fantastic uh, harbor freight welding job okay wish me luck update after day one or day whatever I uh, welded on these uh, steel plates weld look horrible but I'll grind it and it'll be looking better I yeah welded on the other side to attach this guy I had to cut here spread it out a bit which made the brake hit the side so temporarily I just used one of the uh, old uh, bearings to put in there as a spacer but later on I gotta buy some new um, probably just some washers um, found it 30 what was it 32 by 50 would be good outside 50 inside 32 
and then screwed them in here and here and cut off the back and maybe I'll do a brace around here later on. So that's how far we gotten. I marked where the motor is going to sit and it should be pretty straightforward. Grab this guy, put it in here. Oh. Mount it here. I made sure it was square with the back and then just figure out exactly where to mount it based on the length of the chain. Maybe we'll have some kind of uh, adjustment for the chain. So we'll see. It is looking good here. I just threw the wheels on because I couldn't help myself. If anything, it's just going to slow me down, but um, it looks a lot better. So you can see I now painted that um, motor mount. I'm going to see if I can attach that here in a little bit. I have the chain that's going to go on there. I upgraded the chain from the one I came with. And uh, the issues I'm going to work on today is to get that mounted. Also see if I can build a battery box, the electronic box, and then see what I can do to, or what I need to order to get the existing brake system hooked up here. You can see this one has a ball on it. This has no ball on the receiver over here. Maybe I can uh, take some components from the old uh, setup because uh, I don't know how I would sneak that through here. The other side looks similar. So anyway, based on that I've never been in the environment where you'd ride quads and dirt bikes, I just don't know uh, what is standard and if there's just a standard component I can get. So it's uh, trial and error. Right now I'm trying to figure out the location for the batteries. So I think this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to take these six 12 volt batteries and connect them up in, what's that going to be, series to get a 72 volt battery. And let's see here. Uh, one of those are rated at 12 amp hour. So then I'll have 12 amp hour 72 volt right there. But then I was thinking, why not just have these in series connect that system to a uh, Greenworks battery in parallel that way now i will increase my overall capacity uh, these come as 80 volt already or 70 you know 72 would be just fine so if i get that one in there i would now have uh, six amp hour on top of that so i would you know get 50 percent on uh, extra capacity just by one of those and i have multiples of those i have more of them right here so I have three chargers. I'm gonna take one of the chargers, open it up, solder in some wires that I can then connect over to the batteries. And then up here, have all the electronics, which are currently laying right here. Here's where, where we are so far. I hooked up the battery, verified here that it's a 72 volt. It's actually a 78. Connected this side into this terminal. So got the positive and negative, took the positive, ran it through a circuit breaker, uh, one that you could connect to a DIN if you have that, and the, the negative goes straight in. Then you have the motor controllers, they go in here, connect the other side to the motor itself. After that, flipped on the circuit breaker, nothing happened. Then it says in here to plug the two learning wires together. So they are these ones. And once I plug this together, it starts spinning. It starts spinning in what would be reverse for the motor because, um, um, yeah, if it was mounted the other way, I guess it would be forward. And it says if that happens, to unplug it and then leave it unplugged for a little bit, plug it back in again, and it will start spinning in the opposite direction. And now it has learned what direction you are uh, trying to wire it up. So now comes uh, the fun part of connecting all the other stuff. At least I can see that it's working and things are going well. So I think I got this figured out between a few different videos and uh, some still photos. I think I got it. So the battery right here is uh, hooked up correctly. If we look here, let's see if I can do this with one hand. 
That is showing 78 volts. That's a good charge. And then here's another, you know, that's the, um, what do you call it, Greenworks battery. It actually says right on here which one is positive. If you can see that, positive and negative, and then this stuff is for charging. So I just shove that in there. And shove the other one over here. We're showing about the same voltage. So those should be uh, good to have in parallel. I was a little worried about it if that was actually 72 and this was 80. If uh, I would, you know, the, the battery voltage would be too big of a difference. But they're looking good. So what I've done is I've tried it with both and they both work. Just got to be real careful here so I hook it up correctly. We'll take the red for positive, shove it in here. And then the other one is negative over there. Should have done the other way around. Always start with a negative. All right, so we got that going. Got a switch here, turn that on. And then throttle. That's been. And you can see it says here uh, two. I have a selector here that you can select different speeds. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't uh, connected those because the controller or the, the one that switches that one has these type of connectors. And the one I need to connect into are these ones. So I've just touched them against and held it against and I found that it works just fine. But yeah, I didn't get all the right parts. So what I have is that one that we just looked at for the three different speeds, on off switch with key, throttle. I have a uh, forward and reverse. I uh, can't get the stop to work yet. Then I have a brake hooked up, this one, so that you cannot brake and accelerate at the same time. So I got that. And uh, everything here is good. Only thing I can't figure out is how to hook up the charging port. So if anyone knows, please let me know. I don't know where to connect it. And I looked at the videos and the resolution is just not high enough. I emailed the eBay guy, so hopefully it will be good there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep the charger as intact as possible so that I can charge the battery directly in here if I want to. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have my soldering station set up. I'm going to solder in some uh, 8 gauge wire. Solder it in right here. That's going to be the negative. Up here is going to be the positive. And if you look on the other side here, that corresponds to those two terminals. Which again, corresponds to where it's plugged in here right now. I got my uh, Franken battery working. So here we go, got the negative and the positive connected right here. They are going into the same on here. So negative to negative, positive to positive, increasing the amp hours. And uh, yeah, it's running. Everything is good here. So now we go ahead and uh, figure out how to charge this thing. The charger still works, plugged it in. No problem. Hey, thank you for following through to the end. Please like and subscribe so you can see uh, part two. Hopefully it'll just be part two, uh, not a part three. We'll see how this goes. But um, so far, you know, it's gone pretty well. But uh, part two will be a little trickier for me since I don't know how to uh, use a brake and all that to build a battery box. But should be interesting. All right. Thanks again. See you in the next one.